Hey guys, MechanicCG here, welcome back to another video, and today we are playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Today is episode number 22, and we are doing the Port of Lawlessness mission. Uh, so we need to burn some goods. Uh, also, uh, between this and the last episode, that uh, bounty hunter decided to start attacking me, so I had to pause my game quickly and, like, panic. So, yeah. Absolutely devastating. Let's go. Let's get that adrenaline. Dead. You guys don't want to attack me. I will kill you. Uh, right. Where was it we were going? Ah, over in this direction. Yes. We've got another bounty hunter nearby. Oh dear. That's not what we want. There's loads of those guys. Right, so that is the warehouse there. Better stay hidden. Right through his skull. Right, uh, let's get Eagle. Okay, so yes, we got big guys over here in that warehouse. Oh, there's a couple of level 20 enemies, which might make life a little bit more difficult. But shouldn't be unbearable. We're going to try stealth with this then. Yeah, he's a guard. Right, so there are civilians here. Right, try and sneak around, see whether we can. You're untied. Go. What a class is good. Ah, those are good. Okay. Ok, 
Okay, so that's not good. Ah, you can see yellow arrows on them. I didn't see them. And these guys are trying to kill me now. Oof. Oh, and my controller died. Right, hopefully my controller doesn't die. And just oof itself. Right, uh, what I'm going to do... Devastating shots are always good. And then we're going... There we go. Nice. Come on, final one. Oh, no, 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 no. Not allowed. Lovely. Uh, actually, I didn't loot that guy. I might want to go do that quickly. Because they always hold some fairly nice loot. Burn, baby, burn. Is that the wolf? Come and get it. Nice! <sighs> Are we actually fighting now? this guy that's just come along because he looks like the wolf that we had in episode 5 There we go. You fight like a Spartan. There's resolve in you. We have that in common. I saw innocents trapped in the flames. The ones in the warehouse? I freed them already. A good soldier acts when he's told. 
A great one is two steps ahead. Thank you. My name's Alexios. I'd thank you too if I knew who you were. Razidas of Sparta. You're a newcomer to Corinth. You're a spy too. An old Spartan tactic. I have my ways. I get the sense that's a Corinthian hobby. Anthusa <laughs> has her Atera watching from every post. Ah, Anthusa. We disagree, but have a common enemy, the monger. We agree he should be killed, but we differ on how. Um, what can so, you tell me? Sparta has a monger problem. What do you know about him? His weapon has a far reach. Corinth is allied with Sparta. It's our duty to protect them. Then working alongside Anthusa is your best bet. If she had her way, the monger would be flayed in the streets. Sparta wants him dealt with quietly. What do you want to do with him? Right now, the monger rules Corinth. I want to replace him with minimal bloodshed. He needs to die. He'll only be dethroned if he's killed. It's simple. Yes. Diplomacy isn't something he understands. From what I hear, I'm not surprised. We arrested his top men, armed the citizens, tried to stir the police against him. It never came to be. The only thing left to try is a quick slice of the blade. That would do it. We'd lure him into Corinthia's sacred cave, and it'd be over. Uh, I can help you. By the time I leave Corinthia, the monger will be dead. Do that, and Sparta will be in your debt. They're already I in my debt. Spartan once. Once? Until I was thrown off Mount Aegetos as a child and left for dead. You're the son of General Nicolaus? All of Sparta knows your name. And here you are. Alive. Impossible. I survived. I raised myself alone while life continued in Sparta. Never mind being a Spartan. Those of good character will forgive and should be forgiven. <sighs> I'm on the hunt for my mother, Merini. And the only way is through Anthusa. Yes. Merini. Uh, how did you know father? A good general, but a stubborn Spartan. And rewarded for his loyalty. But he disappeared, and his body was never found. The state pronounced him dead. That's all right. I haven't seen him since I was a child. You don't know anything about Merini, do you? I know that no one should have to endure such tragedy alone. And I heard she left Sparta that night. No one has forgotten Marini. From what I know, she wanted them to forget. There's no going back now. The displaced can always find their way home. The gods have just decided you must fight for it. Uh, they couldn't make it any easier. Chin up, Spartan. Easy doesn't exist. Goodbye, Brasidas. We'll meet again. I'm in the fight with you. Show courage. Okay, so it wasn't the wolf. That's interesting, though. Hmm. And there's another bounty hunter coming to get us. Uh, where do we go now? Hmm. Right, so I know it says level 22, but it says talk to Anthusa. So I'm only guessing that we are just going in for a talk. We're not actually going to start fighting. Um, but then it will give us other missions at like level 20, level 21, and level 22. Um, I know that's how it done it for the other missions. I can't remember his name, but he was one of the leaders of Argos or something like that. I don't know. It's been a while since I played this game. A long time. 
around about two or three weeks. But the amount of videos I've had for it has just been ridiculous, and I finally just ran out. So, yeah. This is definitely a good series that I've been playing so far, and I've enjoyed it so much. It's just, it's not done very well at all on the channel. But, I mean, that's alright. I'm playing this game to have some fun. I couldn't really care. How do we get in there again? Ah, it's around here. That makes sense. Your plan seemed to work. The monger thugs ambushed me. I heard. Haha. Uh -huh. I also heard you had no problems dealing with them. Nope, not a problem. Or your last. We're going to take the monger to task at the theater. I've arranged a Corinthian drama no one will forget. Rasidas is worried about the anarchy that could follow the monger's death. He wants him dead, but wants it done quietly. That man is a long way from Sparta. This is Corinthia, so we'll do it the Corinthian way. I agree with Rasidas. I say we take him to the sacred cave. This isn't what we planned. The monger needs to be erased from existence. We'll fight him in a private place he'll die a simple transaction remember if you insist we'll meet you at the sacred cave yes find the monger in the sacred cave oh dear oh he's four levels above us um yeah that might not be happening right now but oh my headset fell <laughs> Uh, so what we could do is we have a message board over here. So let's go take a look, see if we've got any form of bounties. Um, and then we can also take a look at upgrading some weapons when we hit level 19 as well. Interact. Let's take a look. So we've got a bounty on a mercenary. We've got a bounty on a politician. We'll definitely take that. Um, we got one on dirty deals, seems good, and bounty on a mercenary, yeah, let's take those. Right, first of all, let's go for bounty on a politician. There are so many missions here. Here we go. Right, so we gotta go and kill this guy, he is level 16. So he is well below our bracket. So he's been discovered, but he's not hunting us. Um, I've lost where we were going. Where's our marker? There it is. That guy's got a lion. 2,000 drachmi. And four precious gems. Nice. Alright, uh, where is our next mission then? That was easy. Saying that, this next one's probably going to be so difficult I can't complete it. They're going to be like, oh, you said it's easy. Haha, <laughs> try this. Alright, uh, so there's a mercenary we need to kill all the way over there which is a uh, quite a long way away right I can call Fovos now get out of my way get out of my way get out of my way Fovos come on I want to do that auto jump thing Right, let's go to the quest marker. Shouldn't be too far away, actually. It's just over there. 
Run, Phobos, run! We need you to run faster, like sprint. Sprint, horsey, sprint. We are definitely going the long way around, though, aren't we? Oh, we have some form of mission there, I think. There's a goat there as well. Can I shoot it? No. Oh, there's Spartans there. Definitely don't want to go for them. Here we go. We're on our way. We're traveling now. Nice. Just slice that guy in half. No need for it. Just felt like it. This map is stunning though. Like, you have to acknowledge how much effort was actually put in this map compared to other Ubisoft games. There is so much more stuff in Assassin's Creed than any other Ubisoft game. And what I, what I want to see on games like Far Cry, and I'm going to use Far Cry 6 as an example, the next one that's going to come out soon. Hopefully there'll be a Far Cry 6 this year. Announce. Um, but. I want to see. A huge map. Like obviously the map was big in the last Far Cry. But obviously. This map. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Is where. Are, where is it taking us then? And why is there a massive bear? Right, run, 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 run. Here we go. We'll travel our own. Um, what were we talking about? Assassin's Creed. It's you travel by foot everywhere, and the amount of stuff in this map is insane, right? However, you get Far Cry New Dawn in that. The map was pretty underwhelming. There wasn't too much to the map. And one thing I want to see is them make a much larger map or a more densely packed map where you can get loads of missions, you interact with people, like not just outpost work, literally loads of side missions. And I know the whole point of Far Cry is to liberate areas. Um, obviously Far Cry 1, a little bit less so. But once that you got into Far Cry 3, I never... As you know, we did play Far Cry 2 on the channel, didn't we? Yes. So Far Cry 2 being... Far Cry 1 was an open world. Far Cry 2 was. And since Far Cry 2, it's all been about... Um, that is that is a skull. That is a difficult enemy. Um, since Far Cry 2, it's all been about liberating areas. And it's a very fun sort of way to play the game. But... It's not what it's not big enough now. The maps have all sort of like they're not they're not amazing like you want to see from a brand new Far Cry game. Um, but the graphics of Far Cry are amazing. Maybe we could get sixty frames a second in the next Far Cry game, which could be a possibility. Because you've got the Series X coming out soon. So hopefully they're making that so it can run in 60 FPS. And I'm hoping that every game can start running at that frame rate. Right, the mercenary is over here somewhere. Oh no! Holy shit! Right, so we are here um, at this location. It says 100 meters away, but I'm going to check with... In fact, we don't actually have to go anywhere near these guys. Because the mercenary seems to be on a road down here. Come on. Beware the Gorgon stare. 
I wonder how the sculpture captured the details so perfectly. Ella. Yeah, get shot. Okay, that's not going well. Yes, perfect. Get ourselves some adrenaline. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oof. Right, uh, let's get rid of that shield then. Bonk. Done. Confirm. Lovely. And that is 10 contracts done as well, actually. Uh, where does it say those um, mission things? I don't know. Bounty on a mercenary. Lovely. Um, let's call... Ooh. Plus 6% ranged resistance. That is nice. Oh, this is the pig farm. Oh, horsey got stuck. Horsey stuck. Oh, uh, what is this? Oh, we got another bounty hunter. Let's go find him. Oh no. There he is. Right there. Here we go. Right, get rid of his shield, first of all. Nice. Stay back. Get ourselves some more adrenaline. Nice. Right. Come on, finish him off. Done. Nice. Loot that. Right, so we're here at the blacksmith. What we're going to do, we're going to, uh, like we normally do, just buy out all of his stock. Because this stuff is actually very valuable. Uh, and I go through it like crazy. Uh, precious gems and obsidian glass are actually really important. Um, let's go upgrade. I want to upgrade the sword. Which I can now. Um, and that I would then swap with the... Dagger. That I have at the moment. Yes. That seems to be good. I would definitely say take this. Rather than the golden axe. Um, but yeah. We're definitely upgrading this. Did I upgrade the wrong... Th oh, no. It disappears afterwards, doesn't it? Stupid. Right. Um. Yeah, we can upgrade this as well. And then if we go to the engrave... Uh, we've got that engraving on there. 
And we'll add 5% headshot damage, I think. Or, or, fire damage. Fire damage would be good. That would be really good. Um, perfect. Should probably try and upgrade this one as well. Which one do I want, is the question. Do I want the golden one, or... So we've got hunter damage, 2% all damage, 8% fire damage... That's plus 8% adrenaline per crit. I think we might have to go for that one for now. Uh, engrave this one. And then we can put an extra... 8% fire damage as well. With that. Perfect. That soon. looks fairly good for now. Um, but that also means we've got our... Um, special sword back. The sword that we like. And let's chuck this on as well. That looks fairly nice, actually. Uh, bows are looking very good. Um, one thing I didn't check. Armor. We, we should practice, probably though. upgrade some of our armor now. Uh, I want to get the wolf's helmet back. Um, oh, we need more leather for that. Um, we literally do not have enough leather. The only thing we can upgrade is this for now. To level 18. Which is good. Uh, and we can also engrave that as well. Uh, where are they? Here they are. Um, we'll get... Plus 12% total armor seems really good. And we have enough to engrave that as well. Uh, plus 8%, plus 5% crit damage seems good. There we go. Let me know if you need anything else. Right, so I think that is actually going to do it for today's episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel... Hit that join button, it would mean the world to me, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.